Now the spring coil wind is not going to face in the same direction as the open end of the lower spring retainer. So we don't want it to face like this because upon compression of the spring, this open end can catch sometimes the open end of the spring retainer. So we want the spring retainer to be 180 degrees away from the open end of the coil. So as we tighten the spring nut, spring collar, we want to make sure that the open end of the coil at this point is 180 degrees from the open end of the spring retainer. So we're going to come down and now we're ready to add say one turn of preload to the spring. So we're going to turn the entire spring and collar one 360 degree turn. Right here. The open end of the spring retainer, uh, spring. We're going to hold the spring nut, back it up so it's 180 degrees away from the open end of the spring clip. Now, flipping the shock over will show you that the spring is being supported by the spring clip in this area evenly compared to the opposite side where the open end of the spring clip would have a gap. You, this is why you want this 180 degrees away so that the stronger end of the spring clip is supporting this area here.